Jeremy, very good to see you. Thank you, nice now, to see you too. I walked by not very long ago, there seemed to be an awful lot more stuff than there is right now. What's been going on? Well, I must admit, I've been very, very pleased. Um, I've sold an awful lot of good quality Worcester. This shelf here was chock-a-block yeah. full of beautiful enameled Worcester vases wow. and they've been snapped up which oh. I'm very pleased to see. In fact I must say that Worcester is one of the main things that I'm able to sell right. and I'm very pleased to do so. But you're passionate about Worcester I am. which means you know what you're talking about, you know how to date it, you know what to look for oh, and do. that makes all the difference. If you're thinking about going into this business learn 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 and Jeremy you can never know enough can you? Absolutely not and every time you walk around a fair you will learn something new. Uh, the old adage that you're never to, you're always learning something. Every day is a school day is very, very true. It might only be the smallest bit of information, but it's something that you retain and means you'll always remember it for the future. And you're absolutely right, I am quite passionate about the Worcester. It all started when I collected it myself before I started dealing. Right. And I bought a lot of reference book and absolutely right I can turn a piece over and you date it you find out who made it who decorated it its age its style and it, it really is passion in in just a small item the yeah. passion in a piece of porcelain and then some people watching this might think this all sounds a bit odd right but I, I, I get it mm. there's something very satisfying about especially old books, reference books, yes. which you can buy really cheaply. You can. Buying a piece and taking it home and everybody else is watching TV and you sat there on the sofa and you're researching and you're learning. And I love your attitude because you're a proper expert. Let me tell you, I've met a lot of people in this business and the best experts have this attitude, like Jeremy, always learning. Those that seem to think they know it all, Jeremy, don't know nearly enough. Do I? I it's agree. all about soaking up information, and it would take a thousand years to know it all. It, it would, and you'll never know it all. Never. But as long as you keep an open mind and you're asking the questions, yeah. having a pick up the pieces, turn them over. Yeah. What does this mean? That's right. When you go around an antique fair, there will always be somebody at a store you can pick a piece up, and they will be delighted yeah. to tell you a little bit about what they know. But conversely, you get collectors who come and buy from it, and they too can tell you things yeah. that you didn't actually know yourself. And, and, and then, it. of course, it's for the future. You'll remember that. And being open-minded and being willing to learn from somebody Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Because information, knowledge, is king and, and is cash, yeah. isn't it? It is. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Knowledge it is, is cash. It, it, it is. And you've got plenty of cash today. <laughs> <laughs> Could always do better. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Thank you, David. Great Love to, to see, see you. you. All the best.